नमस्ते क्लियंस टुडे आई एम अंकित शर्मा स्टैंडिंग राइट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू चैप्टर साउंड ऑफ क्लास 8 सो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू एंड योर फैमिली इज सेफ एट होम एंड यू ऑल आर यूजिंग योर टाइम वाइजली एंड सिक्योरली सो माय डियर चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी चैप्टर साउंड इट इज वेरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर ओके एंड आई होप you will try to understand all the basic concept present in this chapter so students in this chapter we are basically going to study what is sound go from which object sound arises how the sound produced how the sound is heard how the sound will propagate and also we will study some characteristic of sound in this chapter okay along with that we will also study types of sound and about little bit about noise pollution okay students so let us start chapter sound now before starting the chapter okay as you know that there are five sense organ by which we understand our surrounding now what are those organ one is hearing sight smell sense taste okay sense means touch Understood, everyone. So, by these five senses, we are uh, we study or understand about our surrounding. Okay. So, whenever we want to hear something, we require something or something reaches to our ear. Okay. So, what reaches to our ear whenever we are hearing something, that thing which reaches to our ear, that is known as sound. Okay, friends. So, sound. What is sound? So understand the basic definition of sound. Now, explain what is sound. Sound is a form of energy. Okay. So, like different kind of energy is there, like electrical energy, heat energy. So, sound is also a form of energy, which, which. produces a sensation sensation of hearing in our ear okay my dear students so what is sound sound is a form of energy the energy by which we hear Or we uh, produce it produces the hearing sensation in our ears or ringing sensation in our ears. Okay, students. Now those objects which produces the sound are known as source of sound. Source of sound. So those objects which produce sound are known as source of sound. For example, television. For example, telephone. For example, bell. For example, clock, alarm clock, etc. Radio, speaker, the mobile phone. So there are large number of example are there of source of sound. Understand? So those object which produce the sound, sound, it is known as source of sound. Okay. Now, after this, we are going to the next topic. That is how. is sound produced okay my dear students so now we are going to study how the sound is produced okay so in our daily life we see different different kinds of sound now what are those sounds whenever we clap we hear sound whenever we talk we hear sound whenever you are having two utensils and you bang against each other you hear sound whenever any man is repairing or doing some work mechanical work like drilling a hole at that time you hear a sound so there are different different kinds of sound you hear in your daily life or it can be cause in your daily life okay so basically how the sound will produced so sound produced whenever any body vibrate okay so sound is produced by the help of vibration or 
when a body vibrates. So whenever any object or body vibrates, you hear the sound. Okay. So sometimes, sometimes in many cases, you can feel the vibration. For example, if I'm having a metal plate in my right hand and in my left hand I'm having a metal spoon. If I beat it up, beat the metal plate by the spoon, then what will happen? You will hear a sound. Okay, students. So when the metal plate uh, in your hand also, you will feel some kind of vibration of metal plates. Okay. So in many cases, whenever you hear the sounds, you will hear the vibration of one object. Okay, students. So it is one, one example by which we can say that that vibration produces sound or vibration cause the uh, cause the production of sound. Okay. Next example. Suppose I'm having a rubber band in my hand. Okay. Suppose what happened? I'm having a rubber band and I stretch the rubber band in such a way that one end go in the thumb, another end go in my little finger. Okay. Okay, students. Now it is a thumb, it is a little finger. So what happens if I plug this rubber band in the middle? You will see the rubber band will start vibrating. Okay, and if you bring this rubber band nearby to your ear, you will hear some small type of sound. Okay, so in this way we can say that the vibration of whenever any object. Vibrate, we hear the sound. Okay. Another example I want to give you. There is a device, that device or instrument, it is known as tuning fork. Okay. Tuning fork is generally present in our physics laboratory. Okay. And it is an instrument which is used to hear some specific type of sound. Okay. So, what is tuning fork? Tuning fork is an instrument which is used to study some specific type of sound. Now, in tuning fork, what is the structure of tuning fork look like? So, tuning fork is a U shape. Okay, so tuning fork is a U shaped steel instrument which has a stem and a base. Okay, students, so this is known as and this is known as prong, prong or collectively prongs. Okay, so it is made up of steel. Whenever these prongs are hit by the rubber band, okay, so they start vibrating. These prongs start vibrating, and by the help of vibration, you will hear type different different types of sound depending upon the amount of vibration in it. Larger the vibration, larger will be the sound produced. If smaller the vibration, if smaller will be the sound produced. Okay. Now, in this tuning form, sometimes you are not able to see the vibration. Okay. So how you came across that these prongs are vibrating or not? How can you see that? Okay. So you can say in a way. Suppose what you do, you take a stand. Okay, you take a iron stand. Now, with the help of this strand, you tie a plastic ball with the help of a string. Okay, and what do you do? You you first first of all vibrate the prongs or set the prongs in vibration by hitting with the rubber band. Now, when you bring this prongs nearby to the plastic ball, you will see or notice that this ball start moving to this side okay so in this way you can say that that these prongs are vibrating or moving here and there and in this way the sound is coming from this tuning fork another way to notice that these prongs are vibrating how you can say that take a beaker and fill it up with the water okay we fill this up with the water and when you touch the prong on the upper surface of the water, so you will notice some type of wave or pattern 
in the water and in this way you can say that that these prongs are moving or vibrating okay students so in this way the sound is produced okay now i am going to tell you two activities by which you can produce sound at home very easily okay so what are those activity now at home what you do you take out a ruler or a scale metal scale okay from uh, you take out a ruler or a scale from your uh, geometry box now what you do if it is a table it is a table now place the ruler at the edge of the table okay now what will you do you will uh, push this scale in such a way that this scale start moving up and down okay and vibration uh, okay or you can see the scale start vibrating and in this way you will hear some small type of sound okay so it is one activity in which you can do it for at your home very easily another activity which you can also do at your home suppose i am having a piece of paper okay it is a piece of paper now what you will do with this paper gently fold this paper in the middle okay we fold this paper in the middle now what you will do at the center at the center you cut a semi circle okay students so gently you cut a semi circle okay so now you see there is semi circle in the middle now what happen you unfold these pages okay now when you blow the holes from these from this slit from these holes you will hear a sound okay listen are you able to hear it okay students so i hope you will try this activity at the home and on the behalf of that you are able to hear sound so it is one very easy activity which you can do at home at your home and you will try to understand different different types of sound so it is very simple activity and i hope you can do this activity at your home also and try to understand different different types of sound okay students now other than this we are studying about that source of sound okay and sound is produced by the help of vibration so in another word we can say that sound is produced by a vibrating body okay students or we can say that vibrating body is a source of sound okay students so a source of sound i told you go out there and produce a sound is known as source of sound so students here in this topic how the sound is produced we have studied about sound is produced by the help of vibrating of the object or by the help of vibration so in other word you can say that all the vibrating object or object is a source of sound okay but it depending upon either you can hear it or not hear it that depend upon certain limit which we are going to study at the later end of this chapter okay students now after this one more definition is there and that definition is known as vibration okay now i hope you can understand and write the definition of vibration on your own think about it students okay so what is vibration now my dear children vibration a is a rapid rapid to and fro motion of any object around a fixed point now we will understand what is vibration 
narration okay students so in maybe you have to understand it but you are not able to interpret in the way in the way of definition so understand the definition beta understand it is a rapid rapid means fast it is a rapid to and fro motion of any object to and fro means aage aur peeche or you can say to and instead of to and fro you can write back and forth back and forth so what is vibration it is a rapid to and fro motion of any object understand when this object for the swimming for vibrate on this side and after some time it will go toward this side and this side come to this side okay so it is a rapid motion of any object rapid to and fro motion of any object around a fixed point able to be but understand it is very important around the fixed point means the object will vibrate around the fixed point suppose you are having a spring you are having a spring if we compress the spring if we compress the spring then what will happen the spring will come outward inward outward inward so in this way the spring vibrate around the fixed position around the fixed point so in this way the tuning fork also vibrate around the fixed position now this is a fixed position okay and it will vibrate around it when this side go toward this side say a this second hand also go to the a dash okay but when this hand go towards this b position then this arm will go towards the b dash position okay students so in this way the tuning fork vibrate and by the help of this i have explained the definition vibration it is a rapid to and fro motion of any object around a fixed point okay so students in this lecture we have studied about two topics mainly okay what are those topic first is sound another one is how the sound is produced in our next lecture we will study that in our body how the sound is produced and how the sound occur and next we are going to study that does sound require medium to travel or not okay students so namaste